Hello everybody, my name is Tyler Meyer and this is God's House and today we're doing we're talking about Touch by an Angel Season Two Episode Six Reunion. And we uh but before we do that I would like to also say that we also do apps and we do Bible and we do biblical and we do a biblical podcast and today's app is War Machines and today's biblical podcast is Genesis two two and on Thursdays Thursday's app is Gen- is Star Trek Fleet Command, and on Thursday is Bible versus Genesis two three, and Saturday we're gonna be doing Robot Wars, and on Saturday is Bible verse, which is gonna be Genesis two four. Yeah, so we also call Bible our Bible verses biblical podcast. I'm I'm sorry, maybe I should have said that, but uh yeah. So let's get into the episode now. Whenever the episode starts, it's of they at a funeral, and uh, they got two ladies. One of which is grieving, and she is a uh, author, like she she does like poetry and stuff. And the other one is just acting like it's a big party. And the one that's grieving finds out that the other one has a sexually transmitted disease, and she and um. The one that's partying knows about that, and uh, somebody tries to hook up with her, tries to hook up back with her, and she's like, "No, I have this." And the other person's like, "You know what? I don't." He le- he does leave for a little while, but he comes back, and he's like, "You know, I left you once. I don't want to leave you again." And they have angels in this episode that uh help help them. Uh, help their relationship, all three of them. And I'm sorry, I can't remember names well, people. I can't remember names well. But yeah, so, uh, you know, as Christians, sometimes we get hard news. Sometimes we get life-changing things. For me, my life-changing thing is my Tourette's. It's something that I'll, I'll probably have for the rest of my life. And, uh, yeah, for those of you who want to know what's Tourette's, Tourette's is uncontrolled muscle movement. And I'm not trying to make this about me. I'm trying to make it about uh, the episode. So, yeah, let's get back to it. So, uh, yeah, so during this episode, the one that, uh, this poetry was going to cancel, canceled um, a, 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 a workshop. And uh, she was about to cancel another one. And then the angel said, you know, they didn't reveal that she was an angel at the time. But she said, you know, they got people over here that really want to do this workshop. And uh, she was like, you know what, I'll do it this time. That that, that would have been the second time she would have canceled it. And to me, uh, this episode was really interesting because it dealt with death. and. The, you know, it dealt with uh, sexually transmitted diseases. And, uh, yeah. So, um, and to me, that goes, uh, some of us don't, uh, this is an adult thing, so I'm going to say it like this, but some of us don't aren't in a relationship with sex. Some of us are in a relationship because we truly love the person, no matter what they have. And those of us who are in a relationship for that, y'all are in, a, y'all are in, uh, you, you know, that's a good reason to be in a relationship, not because of what you want to do with somebody in the bed, but because you love them. That's the kind of relationships that we need around here. And listen, right now we're having a problem. And, and uh, you know, the problem is, is that we're having these relationships, but we're also having problems with, like, uh, uh, babies being born and them, uh, the parents aren't really having any financial support for them. 
And there, uh, I'm not saying that abortion is an option. In fact, I, I'm uh, I'm against abortion, but uh, we ha- we are having a problem where uh, you know uh, how should I put this? We're having too many orphans and not enough father figures and mother figures to support them, and that's a very very big problem right now because we're having a lot of kids are growing up without a mom or a dad or a lot of kids are growing up with two dads and no mom or two moms and no dad whenever really they need both that's what the bible says that that marriage shouldn't be the same sex it should be two different sexes and i'm and for those of you who are mad at me, y'all can get mad at all y'all want. But listen, I'm not trying to point the fingers at anybody. Because no matter how many times I point the fingers at somebody, I have a whole bunch of fingers point right back at me. I'm not perfect. I'll admit that. I'm not perfect. I am going to admit something to you. I like science fiction. I like video games. Um. I do um watch some adult swim stuff sometimes, not nothing uh sexual. I'm talking about adult swim from Cartoon Network. But I'm an adult so Yeah, and um sometimes I do wish I had things. Sometimes sometimes I wish my life would be better if I had this or that. But I'm reminded that uh, it's not about what we have. It's about our faith in God that matters. So the question is this. What, do you have faith in God? And if so, how small or how big is it? Because the Bible says if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, we can move a mountain. And the Bible says that men... Uh, Let's see, how, is it, how does it say exactly? Men do not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And if y'all don't believe me, look it up. Because I, I, uh, I, I, uh, I think it was today I did a Bible, a Bible study on that. Not, uh, not in Genesis 2, 2, 2. No, I'm recording this way ahead of time. And thanks to the oil I record this in, normally touched by an angel. Right now, well, right now it's going to be the last one for the week that I do. I record this in, but it's going to go on Tuesday. But it's the last one that I record. I don't know if y'all can understand that. So if y'all can't understand that, let me know. Contact me. But it's the last one that I record, but it goes out on Tuesdays. And that way it gives me time to focus on what's very important in the episode. And to me, the episode is about life. Uh, it's about how we deal with grief and how we deal with illnesses. Some of us right now are going to face illnesses that are, um, are going to really define us. And it shouldn't. Like we should always try to be more than the sum of our parts. What does that mean exactly? It means that we should we should be a Christian, but we should also um, know what we talk about. We should study the Bible. We should pray to God every day. We should study His holy word, and that's why we have God's house to study the word of God. I mean, we literally call it God's house. It's His house. That's the name of the YouTube channel and Facebook page and Twitter page we have. And do I consider myself a pastor? Well, I, I'm not sure. I kind of look at it like this: in the uh, in the old in the uh, younger days of Christianity, some churches had tents. And they might have had uh, a few hundred people, but nobody, everybody was poor, like during the Great Depression. 
and some churches just had tent to where they um people could come. And today's tent, I believe, is the internet, and it's big, very big. But the question is, what are we going to do? How are we going to reach people? Are we going to just wander our time on here and watch needless ad after ad? Or watch needless TikTok video after TikTok video? Or watch needless YouTube video after YouTube video? Or are we going to praise and worship Him? Or are we going to praise and worship God? Because I'm going to be honest. Like right now, I was just watching some Star Trek stuff. And God, and I, um, I wasn't watching it because I should be watching it as a Christian. I was watching it because I'm a Star Trek fan. And, um, really, I watch more Star Trek stuff than I do, uh, Bible stuff, including my own stuff, most of the time. Like, you know, you might have a few days where, a few odd days where I might watch more Bible stuff than Star Trek stuff. But I watch, but the majority of my stuff I watch is uh, video games and, and Star Trek. It's not, and I'm putting the Bible like in third place whenever I should be putting it in first. And that's what the episode's about, putting the Bible first. Putting God's word first. Listen. No matter what kind of relationship you're in, if you if God is not involved in it, then they got a serious problem. Because God loves you, He does, and He wants you to put Him first in your life. He doesn't want to be put second or third or fourth. He wants you to put Him first. He wants you to put him first. Let me see something. Okay, it's just some new stuff. Okay. Yeah, so let me turn on the Do Not Disturb thing. Hold on. Okay, it's on now. So yeah, so just put God first in your life. We need to put him first. Like a bunch of times we think, oh, if we had this, it would be nice. Or if we had that, it would be nice. But a bunch of us don't think, oh, if I study the Bible, you know, maybe got to know God better, it would fill up this void. No, we don't do that a lot of times. We don't do that. You know why? Because we're selfish. Because we are, we're greedy. And I'm going to admit some things. I, I'm probably, I'm a little greedy too. I don't know what it's like to grow up without uh, any food. Because I live in America, I'm lucky to live in a in a rich land where even the uh the po- even some of the poor people have food. And yes, we do have poverty. And yes, I will admit that some of the poverty isn't because some people are poor or can't work or don't want to work. Sometimes it has to do with drugs. But listen, if somebody ever asks you, hey, can I have a few dollars to get a loaf of bread? Go buy bread for them. Because uh, I know that this might make no sense because the people that want a few dollars want a few dollars really for beer and marijuana. I know that that doesn't make sense, but that's what happens. I mean, unless you really know the person, and know for sure what they're going to do with the money, then I would recommend it, giving it. But if you don't know the person, just buy bread for them. Or just buy uh, something healthy for them. You could, uh, but listen, let's get back to the episode again. Man, I get off track a lot. I love to get off track. I love to not start my timer, which I didn't do. So I'm going to have to look at that screen right now. But yeah, so um, the Bible calls us as Christians to be little Jesuses. And what does that mean? That means that we were to follow the example that Jesus gave us whenever he was living. 
and we are to follow the Old Testament to a certain extent. So some of the uh, Old Testament things was done away whenever Jesus uh, sacrificed himself. But listen, we need each other. We do. We really do. We really need each other. And that's the face fact. We all have sin. Every single one of us has sin. Whether that be today, yesterday, a few days ago, a, a few seconds ago, we all have sin. And I believe that we, I personally believe that we sin every day. Well, some of us, some of us, you know, uh, you know, on Sundays we might be like, oh, I miss, oh, I'll never do this, that, or the other. And then on uh, Mondays we drink, we party, we do all of these unnecessary things. And we, but and on Wednesday we go to, ch- we might go to church, but, the, but on Thursday, there goes the party and again, there goes the alcohol again, there goes the marijuana again. And God's saying, look, put him first. That's what the Touch by an Angel is all about, putting God first. Putting his will before our own. And yeah, so, um, and for those of you who um want it, want it on CD, I believe it's available on Amazon, Touch by an Angel. And they have different uh, CDs available on Amazon. Although the cheapest way for me is uh, Paramount Plus. Because I ain't got to buy all the CDs. It costs over $100 for the whole set. But yeah, that, 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 to me, that's just, uh, too pricey. I'm saying that, uh, you know, and I do realize that not every episode of Touch Fine Angel is on Paramount Plus. So yeah, there's kind of a, um, yeah, you know, it's like, uh, uh, you know, they kind of skip a few episodes. Or at least they do with the titles. I don't know if they um uh, if the titles are right. But yeah, so um as Christians we really need to be there for one another. No matter what happens, we need to be there for one another. And sometimes we're told some shocking things. Sometimes we're told some things that we don't want to hear. Sometimes we're told, like, for instance, some of us can't have children. But if you're in a marriage to have a child, then you're in a marriage for all the wrong reasons. You should be in a marriage because you love that person. You should be. And you should be in a marriage also because you love God. And you want to follow him and his teachings. Listen, God did not say that we're supposed to be perfect. He didn't say that. But he did say that he loves us. That's exactly what he said. He loves us. And listen, I'm just, I keep on looking at the screen right now because of the time. I didn't put the time on my phone. I normally forget to do that. Well, sometimes I forget to do that. Sometimes I don't. But listen, the reason why I have a timer is for me to stop. Uh, for me to uh, like have a limit to uh, how long my videos are because if not, it's going to take forever to upload. Because I keep on going off track. For those of you who wonder why, I just want to talk about a timer. But yeah, so, um, 
you know, and I know that a bunch of us right now are living in one point countries where a bunch of us right now are facing uh, gas shortages or facing gas prices being high or facing Russia. You know, this is going to come out uh, about two weeks from now. Well, a little less than two weeks from now. Give or take a few days. Because I'm recording this way ahead of time. Because I have to now. Because of how the recording schedule is. And I want to keep on doing uh, videos the way I've been doing it. I was thinking about maybe like uh, just doing like uh, the Bible verses. On the uh, biblical podcast, which is the Bible verses. Think about maybe just doing that. And touch my angel. But you see, I want to use video games to reach people. You see, that's where a lot of Christians go wrong. They think that video games are only meant for the sinful. And they think that the only Christian video games are like word puzzles. Or like... um. You know, things like that. Or, th- or like I just said, word puzzles, basically. But there are... Uh, but listen, you don't have to... If you play a war game, and if it's not that gruesome, I believe it can be used to reach people. You know, by gruesome, I mean bloody. And right now, I play uh two war games. I play... uh. Uh, war machines, and then I play robot wars. Yeah, and they're not that bloody. But listen, we need each other. We need each other. And how do we, uh, the question is, how do we balance our our lives with our, our religion? How do we do that? Or how do we make them one? And sometimes it can be hard. It can be difficult. Sometimes it can force us to lose our jobs. It can force us to lose loved ones. Like lose uh, as in um, get into arguments with loved ones. It can force us to do those things. But yeah, so uh, if y'all have any questions about any Bible verses, like let's say, uh, let me give you an example. The Bible said, uh, and I give this one all the time, I will be with you always, even until the end of the age. And then Jesus said, and then there's another Bible verse that says, wherever two or more are gathered in the same, you will be there. Now, what's the difference? I mean, is it just two or more, or is it always? And to me, the difference is is that whenever Jesus said always, he meant himself. And whenever he said two or more, he meant the Holy Ghost. And you see, I believe that there are God's point. God is, like, a, like, I believe that Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and God are all part of one being. That's what I believe. I believe in the Trinity. For those of you who don't know what that is, I urge y'all, if, or if I didn't explain enough of it, I urge y'all to look that up. I believe in the Trinity. And I believe in the Christian God. Yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, so, and how do we, uh, how do we know what God's will is? Well, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we have to take a leap of faith. Sometimes, you know, we just have to go off of our gut feeling. But I urge y'all to be careful because God says, pick your bowels wisely. So be careful. Be very, very careful with your bowels. Because your boss could be telling you to do something, 
that might look in scripture, but you gotta pay the bills. So, yeah. Like, there was this movie called, um, what was it called? Uh, God's Not Dead. And, uh, yeah, I believe that, uh, that, you know, uh, because of, uh, this one person's honesty, he got to get a job. But you see, it could have easily been turned around the other way. He could have lost his job. He could have lost the chance to get a uh, uh, promotion. Or, uh, I don't know if he was... I mean, let me take it back. I, I don't think that he was working with them before that meeting. So he could have uh, lost his job. I lost a chance to get a job. I could be wrong though, but maybe he did have it. Maybe he did work with him before. I don't think he did. But sometimes we have to take that leap of faith. And sometimes we don't. All I'm saying is just be very, very careful. And sometimes we have to take that leap of faith with our lives. Sometimes you have to bet everything on it. Hold on. Yeah, so to me, this episode has a lot to do with us facing cold heart facts of life and us live, learning to live with our uh, disabilities. Well, maybe starting to understand our disabilities, I guess would be more accurate. Because sometimes we have some things that uh, affect us mentally. Sometimes we have things that affect us physically. Sometimes both. Sometimes it's just things that we can't control. And sometimes it's things that we can control or we think we can, but they ended up getting out of hand. And I pray that God forgives me for all my many sins. And I pray that God forgives you. In fact, let's say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, you know that we've done wrong. You know that we need your guidance. That's why we're praying for it. That's why we're praying. We need your guidance, Father. We need your holiness to overpower us, to overpower our lusts, to overpower our, our adult, our sexual things. We need you, Father. Father, a bunch of us right now are, are having bad things happen to us as we speak, or having sexual transmitted diseases infect us, or having uh, all of this negativity affect us. But I pray that you help us. In your precious holy name, amen. Yeah, so, um, you know, a bunch of times we as Christians, we do things that we don't that we shouldn't do, or we not put things on that we shouldn't put off. And uh, yeah, so um, me for instance, I I'm gonna be honest. I put off the laundry and the dishes today, putting off doing it, and uh, I didn't really get in trouble with my little brother did, but I helped him. Do it. Uh, I we put it off and we put it off, and I knew, knew that I was putting it off, but I thought that maybe uh maybe after like the sun went down we would do it, but I put it off for too long. But uh, anyway, um, uh, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, guys. And listen, sometimes uh, we put off telling our partners certain things about us. Sometimes we're a little nervous. Sometimes it's about uh, us not being able to have kids or us having a virus or us uh, just 
not hide our part of ourselves from our partner, that we shouldn't do that. Sometimes we just need to be honest. Well, all the time we need to be honest. But like I said, pick your battles wisely. So I guess that kind of contradicts that. But uh, anyway, um, I pray that God guides you and make and helps you make the right decision in your life. Anyway, bye guys. Hello everybody, this has been the Major God's House production and I would like to remind y'all that we do have a Patreon page. Now for those of you who don't know what Patreon is, or if I haven't gone over it in a video, the Patreon is a monthly subscription service that you can use to donate money to your favorite organization, charity, church, whatever. Anyway, we start at three dollars a month. Now I understand that not all of us not all of us can afford three dollars a month. But that's what we start off at. Then it goes to nine dollars a month. That's even less of us can afford that. Then it's twenty five dollars a month. And the reason why I have twenty five dollars a month is because I like to have a more expensive option out there for those of us who have the income. Yeah, so uh this is God's House's Facebook. If y'all wanna follow us on there, y'all can do it. The link's in the description. This is our YouTube channel. This is where we mainly do most of our content. And the reason for that is because I go on YouTube a lot, so I naturally do a lot most of my content on YouTube. And this is our Twitter page. Now our Twitter page uh is probably the one I use the least, but y'all can follow me on there and y'all can get up to date videos about uh what I think is is important. Like, uh, for example, I recently shared a video about, uh, this recent, about a school shooting that took place in Texas and about gun laws. And I don't always necessarily support th their beliefs, but I support their ideas of some people. If that makes any sense. Anyway, bye guys.